what's good homies and welcome back to another west tigers career video it is crunch time and we are in the finals here there's already been two games as you can see the sharks are advancing to the preliminary they comfortably got by the knights beating them 30 points to 10 sending the knights to the semis while they get the week off in the second game the warriors defeated the storm quite easily might i add 26 points to 8 ending the storm season while they advance to face the knights in the semis and as for the third game for a third time we'll be playing the penrith panthers once again the first time we played them was way back in round two and we did beat them 16 points to 12. the next time we played was more recent in round 22 where they defeated us 16 points to 6. so it's been a nice little rivalry to have during the season we both hold a win over the other and uh this one pretty much is for all the marbles all right so we're going to start off an attack here as we lose the ball on the first carry I think that might have been Campbell Gillard who came up with the uh, the big hit there as they go inside to Marin. And he's going to get pulled down 5 out. So immediately on the back foot. First tackle, they go to Tamau. And he's going to get held up on the tackle. Inches away from the line. Back on the fourth here and we're doing a decent job at holding them out. But I think you'll find that Isaac Yo actually powers his way over on the fourth. And they're going to score their first points of the game as they send it up to the bunker and as you can see here he extends the arm gets the grounding and apparently they're going to be up by four all right we're back with cleary here to take the shot and he's going to extend the lead to six as we jump back in attack here we're going to get wrapped up inside our 30. second tackle as we shift it between the playmakers, try and get it out to Nangama through the gap. And it's going to get around the fullback. Finally gets pulled down just outside their 40. There's some pretty decent passing in that tackle. As we try and chip over the top, we retain possession and uh, <laughs> we don't really go anywhere. With little at dummy half, we're going to set up to the right. We go to Woods, runs through one defender, and it's going to get pulled down inside their 10. So it gives us a decent shot at putting the kick in. As we get a lot of here, we put it on the toe. It ricochets. We hold the pass out of Grant. Get it out to Idris. And we're going to score in the corner for our first points. Definitely a little scrappy there towards the end of the set. And a little fortunate as we get the ricochet. We did have the overlap, but uh, I think Sully was standing way too deep. So we just took it to the line of Idris. Luckily, he was strong enough to fend off their winger. And yeah, we score in the corner. Now we just have to convert this pretty tough uh, this tough kick here from the sideline. And we're going to slot the two points and tie the game up. Alright, back in attack. As we go to uh, Grant, he gets it out to Brooks. Brooks to Nangama. And we're going to get wrapped up outside our 30. On the fourth, we attack the short side. We try and find the line, but... Uh, it was a terrible place to kick and we pay for that stupid error. They feed the scrum on our 30 and it's going to be Edwards who, who just jukes us at the back. I was expecting another pass off the scrum. Started drifting across and by the time I figured out they weren't passing, it was too late. Edwards was already through the gap that we created. And yeah, we get juked at the back. As uh, they take the kick from right in front. Penrith are going to retake and extend the lead 12 points to 6. Alright, back in attack with the Panthers here, as they go to Akuola, gets past one, and he's going to get smashed at the back, loses the ball forward, scooped up by Little, a little bit of BS there by uh, Tedesco putting the big hit on Akuola, but we're 35 out anyway, Nangama from dummy half, goes for a little scoop, but we're going to get wrapped up, still outside their 30. On the first, we go to Woods, running onto it. And he gets driven back in the tackle. We have a couple of options to the right of us. We're going to send it to Brooks. That means he goes flat to Taylor, putting him through the gap untouched. And we're going to race away for the second try of the game. Again, some pretty decent passing on display. As we take another look on the replay. We get it to Brooks. That means once. Then delivers the perfect flat ball. Could have easily been a forward pass. But uh, it's a nice pass to put him through. Gets our second try of the game. Now we tie the game up once again. Locked at 12 apiece. 
All right, we're back with Penrith here outside our 30. 33 minutes into the game. They go short to Latu, and he's going to get wrapped up inside the 30. Third tackle to go to Moylan. Nice inside ball to Edwards. Gets around one. And he's going to get dragged down inside the 10. All right, back on the last. They're about five out, or less than five. They throw a short flat ball to Cleary, who just catches the ball over the line, grounds it, scores their third try of the game, and they're going to retake the lead. Again, it was just another fairly soft try let in. As Cleary converts from right in front, and we're going to head into the break, trailing by six. Looking at the halftime match stats, Penrith with uh, slightly more time in possession. Both teams are making way too many errors, and that's pretty much been the story of that half. There's a lot of points being scored, but like I said, there's just way too many errors being committed by both teams. Alright, back in the second half, and just take a look at where we are. It's the fifth and last, and we are barely outside our 10. The Panthers were just too solid to start out the second half, in defense that is, as we attempt to run it on the last, but we eventually get a kick away. Curves back into the field of play, scooped up by Edwards, gets around one, shrugs off another, gets around to Desco at the back, and Dylan <laughs> Edwards literally breaks five tackles. He brings the ball all the way back inside our 30, after we got that decent kick away, as uh, Cleary sends it to Tamao, and he's going to go on a nice run as well. Makes it inside our 10 meter line. They're about 5 meters out. As they deliver more short passes. This time Cleary gets smashed in the tackle. A quick play of the ball. And more quick passes. And it's going to be Marin here who almost powers his way over the line. So on the 4th. They go to Campbell Gillard. And he's just going to simply crash his way over the line for their 4th try of the game. They send it up to the bunker as usual but... They're going to get the green lights, and now our hopes of making it to the grand final are slowly slipping away here as they get the green lights, Cleary takes the shot at goal, and they go up by 12 points. Alright, so we're back in attack, as we try and take it to the line of woods, gets driven back in the tackle. On their 30, inside the final 10, Grant to the line this time. And he runs into a brick wall. On the fourth, we go to Brooks, tries to chip and chase. And we literally have nothing left in the tank. A couple of big hits right here. Causes a double knock on. And we're going to get the feed to the scrum. So we're around 12 meters out. As we attack the short side, we try a draw and pass. Doesn't pay off. And we're going to get wrapped up 5 meters out. On the first, we go to Woods. Driven back once again. He's just been well contained in this game. On the second, three minutes remaining. We go to Grant. And he's going to lose the ball forward. And that's pretty much all she wrote for the match. That last run by Grant pretty much sums up how the second half went for us. Unfortunately, we bow out of the competition in the first week of finals. I don't know what happened to Penrith at half time, but in that second half, they were completely impenetrable. I mean, we did make a few breaks, but in the end, nothing came of them. We ended up losing the ball. It was that, and uh, the fact that our attack in the second half just fell flat. Now, I'm not going to lie, I was a little heated after that loss. I didn't bother to look at the full-time match stats or anything. But yeah, anyway, this was the result for the rest of the finals. The Dragons ended up playing the Newcastle Knights in the grand final. And it looks like they put on a masterclass performance, beating them 24 points to 2. So that wraps up the 2017 season. Our journey, however, doesn't end here. We will be back in 2018 with a bigger and better roster. But before that, our next journey will be in the World Cup, where we will attempt to win it with England. As always, drop that like button for more content. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you. you, 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 you. Later. I've been in the gym so long I cannot do no wrong I've been in the gym so long I cannot